just a small a short video really about this one basically i think i cracked the game scope launcher the the version i put out the other day which is the laptop version i've combined it with the desktop version so now it's one thing so you don't need two installers or this sort of, sort of stuff and it's now i've renamed it i've called it uh, super shift s because basically that's what you do now so that's done which is great and i was like following along with like ces and stuff like this and there's obviously for linux there's always things you can't do and one of them is like kernel level anti-cheats which is a problem um and we can't do that yet so we have to find a way around it and i've got a solution it's not perfect but it'll allow you to play any game you want on, a, on linux and basically on ces nvidia turned around and said that they're releasing their geforce now platform for linux now it's always been out there because it's on steam deck so i thought oh hang on a minute why don't i just incorporate that into this because this is fundamentally a steam deck so it didn't quite work out their actual installer didn't work fantastically well so i had a route around and i found a brilliant one someone's put on flat on flat hub so what i've done i've written an additional script so once you go through the main install of the steam deck thing to have your steam deck on a marchie you can run the additional script and it's just the geforce installer and it'll give you the geforce now so what i'll do i've already installed it on here and set it up and i just talk you through it and um we'll just have a look at what you can do i mean it allows you can play basically at the end of the game is you can play battlefield 6 on linux it's streaming but it's close as we're going to get until the developers wake up and start writing games that work across all the platforms as opposed to things like pcs or the other ones Okay, so with that said, let's dive in. So here we are. Um, and there was an update to Amarchi last night, to 3.3. I'll do a video about that at the weekend. There's a few updates to it. There's a few issues with the updates. It's totally fine. But there's some interesting things I want to have a look at um, in there. So I'll do a proper video on that. Anyway, the Grubvox, one of the themes has been updated in this is the desktop is beautiful. It's literally a minor screen. It's like the paint is coming off of it. That's such a nice picture. Anyway, so yeah, so March is in good shape. So I'm going to do the installer again. You've seen this a billion times if you watch these videos. So let's go into downloads and then actually and the launcher thingy. Now, Super Shift S here, you know how this works. I mean, I can if you want an nvidia card it'll ask for a mod set thing so you'll have to reboot to finish it amd don't have that this one doesn't work on intel arc but the intel arc one there's a link available for that um but yes yeah, so, i mean i'll just drag this over no i won't i'll just copy it and then i'll paste it and then we'll run it but the install is done so basically you know it's a much longer version um you know you'll do the uploads does everything installs everything again but i didn't want to bore you to death with all the downloads come on testing network manager restarting um run installation verification no okay so once that's done what you would do you'd launch steam you have to do it in this order you'd launch steam and you'd log in because you have to sort of create a place for GeForce Go to go, or whatever it's called. So once you've opened it up and you've logged in and it's become a thing and it's got a, you know what I mean? Because at the moment it's just a package, it's never been launched. So now it's it's up and running. So basically shut that down. And then install geforce now so the copy and what this actually does installs flat pack if it's because it's not on amarchi from default and then installs the geforce now thingy does it really quick and then basically what it does it automatically binds it as an application for you which i'll show you in a minute so if i go into super shift s now because it's already to run let's do that now you can see it in the Steam store as an application. It comes under non-Steam application. But in here, you'll see it, it will pop right up. 
There's a few caveats with it, but it, it's fine, you know. So, but I'll just show you some stuff that you should and shouldn't do with it because you get, um, especially with NVIDIA as usual. Okay, so let's just go into the menu, Steam, and go into Settings. If you're not going to use that, don't worry about this. If you're not going to use the GeForce Now, but if you are going to use it, leave that set at automatic resolution because otherwise it tries to go to 4K. And if you go to 4K on NVIDIA, everything explodes. So you don't want to do that. But then obviously you can do your maximum game size as before, uh, which was fine. I'm going to leave it at, two, four, at uh, 1440. You can do that to make your games go 4K outside of it. But you want this bit to stay at um, 1440. Anything over that, and NVIDIA is going to lose its, lose its mind. So there it is. So it comes up like that. I mean, I can't make an icon for it. You click on it. And the first time you launch it, you'll get taken through. If you've got an account, you'll get taken through for your authentication um, thingy. Here we go. And it goes straight in. Now, it looks like this. It's not great. So you press F11. And for some bizarre reason, you're using the cursor. But you can tab around because you're supposed to be like a Steam Deck, aren't you? So there's all the games. Then you can tab around the screen, go to the top there, press Enter, Battlefield. Battle. Where is it? Battle F. There, can anybody see Battlefield 6? Field E L D. Oh, you can't spell. E L. There. So basically, you can't play it on the free version, but there you go. So I mean, it's come out of that. But I mean, you, you can attach your Steam Live. One of the first things you'll have to do is attach your own. Um, I've got all my connected accounts on there. So dredge, play, and obviously you're going to get hit with a load of adverts, the free version. You get loads of adverts. I've got 45 gamers ahead of me, and then there's going to be an advert. So how do you get out of this? You can't do F11 to get out, but you need to know the key combination. And it's shift tab. Shift tab brings up that menu. You can't escape from this. And all you need to do to get rid of it is exit game, and then it will shut it down. He says, there we go, and you're out. So there you go. That's it. That's basically how that works. And then you're back in the main screen and you can play the rest of your games. So you've now got access to anything you've got. I mean, so if you've got games in, I think it's like Epic Store, you can attach with the GeForce account if you've got it. You can attach your Epic games and all that. I mean, you don't really want to, do you? I mean, you don't want to pay this extra money to NVIDIA. But if you really, really, really must play Battlefield 6, or something that's got kernel level anti chi that's pretty much the easiest way to do it. I mean, I've not tested Battlefield. I'm not going to upgrade my account, but it's there if anybody wants to play around with it. And then to get out of it as usual, it's Super Shift R. Okay, so there you go. So let me just come over to full again. So there you go. So there's the multi-purpose purpose, um, Steam Deck games launcher. That's done. That's in the link in the members area. And also accompanying with that package is the install GeForce Now if you want to do that. So that's there. But you, you've got to put them in that order. You've got to install the main thing. Then run the once you've opened and logged into Steam. So Steam's like created itself. Then you can run the GeForce Now installer. And then you're good to go. And then you've got everything in one place. So that's it. So that's that's done. Now I, now I can look at my next project, which is I'm doing working on a simple way to dual boot a march with Windows 11. Because I know some of you can't make the jump to light speed quite yet. And you have to have Windows within 30 feet of you. But for those people who need that, um, I mean, I'm giving you Battlefield 6 on Linux. What more do you want? There's no, there's no reason to stay on windows anymore so but i am going to do an easy dual boot installer because it's it's um i know it throws people having you know there are things you want to do there's a, a vm in here there's everything but sometimes people want to go back to windows and obviously not everybody wants to like go in 100 percent with um linux yet but the march is a tricky one the march is such a good installation but because of the encrypted drive issue it's hard to dual boot so i think that's holding back people going oh that's you know i'll give it a go so I'm going to try and build a simplified installer for that. But in the meantime, I'll sort of take a few days off this and try and catch up with my arc raiders. Anyway, as usual.
Thanks for watching.